why does love fade? Your question is very meaningful, but before that I would like to ask you, what do you mean by love when you say, why love fades? People start drifting apart slowly, despite having um, a beautiful connection in the beginning, but then it slowly fades. So it is relationship that fails, not love that fails. Yes. N number one. Yes. Number two, I have to tell you, love never fails. And love can never fail. It is something else that fails, which is not truly love. You see, when we talk of love, we should try to understand love very clearly. And that too in a very simple way. I would like to tell you that what people call love is absolutely not love at all. I can explain to you the very concept of love in three ways. The first stage is that of the physical level. That is what we call sex. The second is the psychological, the mental level. And the third is the level of your being, the level of your soul. So I will come to all the three. As a child up to the age of 13, 14 years, boys and girls are playing together. No one bothers who is a girl, who is a boy. They are all happy and joyful, not being affected at all by the gender considerations. Right? Yes. But exactly somewhere around the age of 14, 15, a boy sees a girl and some chemical reaction happens inside him and vice versa. The girl sees a boy and something starts happening inside her. So this is what we call the upsurge of hormones at the physical level which is a byproduct of the nature's act of continuing the act of creation. So there is inner urge to relate with the opposite sex at a certain age because of the nature's need for prolonging the creation. And both the male and female feel the need for interacting with each other. They feel the need of being closer to each other. And this is the sexual as at the bodily level and just to fulfill the need of the nature. And this is not only in humans, but in all the creatures of the planet. And this is exactly when a boy feels something of the sort about a girl or a girl feels something of the sort about a boy, they start saying that they have fallen in love. So I, I don't call it love. This is only a sexual urge which is prevailing in all the creatures, animals, birds, insects, everywhere. And that is the situation. Even more than 99% population of humanity, even more than that. People call it love, they treat it love and they feel as if they are in love. But exactly they are not in love. At the most it, it can be said that it is the sexual urge which everybody has and they too have. Now the next thing comes you start having something getting triggered at the psychological level. You develop relationship at the level of mind and heart. Something deeper when in which your heart also starts vibrating, not only the body, but even the heart starts vibrating and that is only very rare. Some people 
who are living this life by heart like some are poets some are artists some are painters some are actors artists of different kinds because no art is possible without the heart you have to put your heart into the art not so much the mind as much the heart so mind and heart combined together start by vibrating at one stage for some so that is what we call really love one stays higher than sex and then the third dimension is when your mind heart act and you go even deeper now at the level of your being at the level of your soul you are filled with love you are filled with energies which want to embrace the whole of the universe you get a feel that we all are interconnected when you experience your self at the level of your being at the level of your soul soul the first experience that comes to you is that me and you are not separate you will feel that you are as good a part of my being as my hands as my head that is what happens with people who have been able to experience their souls their being like buddha krishna christ muhammad then love becomes their intrinsic nature that is what people call not being in love but becoming love if you if you love to experience your self at the level of your being then you become love that is the ultimate stage when love becomes compassion love becomes oneness with the whole and love becomes godliness that is why jesus says god is love and the whole spirituality has been saying love is god it is that state when you can relate yourself at the level of your being so these are the three levels of love if it is the first level of love what we call sex and because of the bodily factors that this relationship has happened then again what is love love is an intrinsic urge for oneness with someone so if your attraction and your relationship it at the physical level you will try to experience oneness with the other person but experiencing oneness with the other person at the level of physicality is impossible for example i can try to put my hands together physically as closer as possible the closest possible but still the oneness cannot be achieved some distance still remains so at the physical level this oneness is impossible so more than 99% marriages relationships are born out of love which is at the physical level and oneness is impossible at that level that is why we say love fails regard it is that love which is confined only to the physical levels and that is bound to fail in any case all such love 
affairs fail in due course of time some does not seem to fail but they also ultimately fail they do not seem to fail simply because they do not declare that they, they try to drag on in some form or the other just to continue the family affairs but the second kind of love that is born out of mind and heart that is also very fragile love cannot be termed as an absolute reality it needs to be nourished it needs to be cared eternal vigilance is the price which the lovers have to pay for making their love alive and this eternal vigilance people are lacking because it requires day to day care it is like a beautiful plant which you have planted in your garden if you take daily care of the plant of love in your garden then it will grow it will bloom it will have fruits and flowers but if you leave it on this ground or on that ground then it is bound to fade that is why so many artists so many poets so many persons who have been living by heart they enter into relationships of love but their marriages ultimately fail their relationships fail because the food that is required for the nourishment of love is not offered to the plant of love right so what's the best way to express your love to someone despite being an introvert or an ambivert or an extrovert if you are filled with love for someone you will never require ways to express it your eyes will speak it your face will speak it your whole being will speak it your words will speak it and it will become so obvious that you will not be able to hide it